How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel and uh, yeah, this is a let's play for Doom 3 on the PS4 Pro. So this game came out about two days ago and I thought, hey, why not, uh, why not do a let's play? Um, this game has <laughs> a lot of nostalgic value for me, so yeah, let's jump into this. So basically uh, this game launched with uh, the original game. The DLC or expansion pack, Resurrection of Evil and then um, the the newish, uh, I'll say, expansion pack, Lost Missions, which was a, a mission pack or a DLC that was uh, created especially for the BFG edition that launched a couple of years ago uh, on previous uh, gen consoles, the PS3, Xbox 360. Um, I I did pick up a PS3, uh, what you call it, a PS3 copy of the game, but unfortunately it was plagued with some uh, long loading times. So I never really got into it, and uh, I was browsing, saw this on the PS4, and thought, let's give it a go. I am not gonna play this on Veteran, I think I'm gonna stick to Marine. Um, I will be covering the base game, all the uh, DLC or expansion packs. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna say expansion packs. I'm gonna be covering that, and I'm also gonna cover law. I'm gonna try not to get ahead of myself, so uh, not to spoil anything. But um, yeah, you wouldn't really believe it, but this game has a lot of law, uh, quite deep and interesting. And yeah, we're gonna explore this all together. So let's just the hit Marine. Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. I remember watching that intro for the first time back in 2008 and uh, just, I just love this game. It's, like I said, nostalgic, man. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000. Set speed. Contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. All right, so here we go. Um, uh, sensitivity is a bit high. I'm going to go and turn that down. It's just going to have to do for now. Um, so because this is running on the PS4, we are probably looking at the best version of the game, except obviously for PC. Um, PC stock or vanilla will probably run the games uh, with the same graphics, but uh, there's so many mods that you can download uh, to make the lighting <laughs> almost look current gen. So, yeah. Um, this is 60 frames per second, so I'm really excited. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. 
Okay, I don't have my torch or anything. Jump is X, that's nice to if know. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. If I don't get this log to Central Authority, it'll be my neck. Please move along. Now, it's important to remember this game was <laughs> was launched uh, in 2004, Aerospace's I believe. Research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. Uh, I gotta get out of here. So this is the first hint that things are not so well on Mars. Hmm. Let's hear what he has to say. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. If he leaves with this ship, then he's probably the only person except for one other, which I'm not going to spoil, that survives this whole thing. Well, I guess that's a spoiler if I say everybody dies, but, um, yeah, I think there's technically two people that survive. I don't know if you can call the second person a person anymore, but, yeah. If you're staying here, watch your back. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. If you're staying here, watch your back. Now, I played this game back in 2008, so that is about 10, 11 years ago. I remember bits, but uh, this is definitely not going to be a walkthrough. Um, I'm going to miss things, but we are going to explore the story um, as much as possible. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, just have a simple question. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay, so this is my PDA. This is where I will basically get most of the law from and also gives you your current objective. Handy. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. So, if I remember right, uh, you want to download whenever, whatever you can on your PDA because sometimes it gives you codes for lockers, um, a combination for a locker with uh, hidden weapons, ammo, health, armor, and we're gonna need that. We're gonna need all of that. I just picked up a video disc, so if I'm gonna open this here, I can go to video and I can watch the videos. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please and report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. 
Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Haven't Safety seen you is integral you must be with that to new all operations here on us. Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. To get my work done here. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Ah, uh, this guy. Stop. Thank you. I'm trying to get these systems reconfigured so I can't talk now. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. I'm trying to get these systems reconfigured so I can't talk now. So polite. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Ooh, foreshadowing. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's continue. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. I can't help you here. Head to Marine Command. They can help you. Okay. Hello. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. What? You lose people here? What? Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job. And you'll be back on Earth before you know it. Not a lot to do around here. But watch your back. Try not to let this place get in your head. Why does everybody tell me to watch my back? Uh, later during this walkthrough uh, or let's play, there's going to be a scene <laughs> in a bathroom. Uh, I'll remind you when we get there. Uh, just remember I, I mentioned bathrooms because they are... Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me. Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. So, we know that there's something going on here. People being transferred. Uh, later on you'll hear people going missing. There's weird things happening at uh, Delta Labs. What could it be? Um, this episode is going to be a bit slower because there's a lot of law in this first uh, I would say 15 minutes of the game that I want to catch and a lot of them is uh, just conversation that I'm gonna have with NPCs so yeah just bear with me I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly so uh, do you mind if you can fix this you can stay and help but otherwise get going hmm. Marine Command is right around the corner why don't you go bother someone there listen I'd love to talk, but I'm really busy. What? Do I look like a tour director, Leatherneck? Oh. <clears throat> no card found. Can Attention. I close Dr. Braddock, please report to Need Environment report to Management Sergeant Office Kelly Asap. for Alpha. He's in Command HQ. Yes, sir. But I'm going this way. What? 
the hell happened? Yes. Hope you don't go crazy here, like the others. <laughs> what? Well, I got a few things I need to do, so I'll catch up with you later. These things, I know they look kind of creepy, especially if you have arachnophobia, but they are your best friends. You'll see later. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now. Here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. <sighs> this guy is cold. Uh, okay, there's nothing for me here. I think this must be a port of the BFG ed ed edition. I'm not sure, but normally on uh, PS3, that loading time right there would be much longer. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Nobody in their right uh, in their right he mind will volunteer for Delta Labs. Strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? You can't believe anything that guy says. I'm just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't wait to get out of here. Looks like everybody's in a rush to leave. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I like how it peeks over to look at me. The now UAC and then. cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Oh, and we're gonna need that quality medical care services. That's the medic pack, and they also have these machines. Uh, on the wall that will give you health and we're gonna use that a lot right let's continue mm, there was something here okay maybe not yet ah there is, uh, these are the lockers I was talking about and this is the combination. I don't believe I have any thing yet. It makes sense that I'm not going to be able to open this right now because I don't have my equipment yet. Mars City Underground. Auto save. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call you Mike. Is that fine? Uh, Mike, can you perhaps open this locker? Your stuff's locker? in the storage cabinet. I want this one! It's got shotguns. <laughs> fine. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. 
And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Yep. Okay, you're all set. Kay. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. So when Doom 3 originally came out, um, you had a flashlight, and this is the flashlight. So you don't have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. Oh my word! Stop interrupting me. You could, you can't hold a weapon and have light. So you had to swap between your gun and a flashlight. Now um, there was a mod on the PC that uh, fixed that so that you can have a gun-mounted torch like here. Well, I don't think this is gun mounted, I think it's on your suit. Uh, and then uh, obviously the BFG edition on console brought this... You don't have uh, a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. The BFG edition brought this to consoles. So it's just a nice thing, but a lot of this game is much more atmospheric because sometimes it's dark, like there. You can't really see that wall over there. So you had to choose between having a gun in your hand or a torch. And uh, if you had a torch in your hand, you could actually punch the people with the torch, which is hilarious. You don't have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. Yes, yes, yes. You wouldn't be rushing me if you knew if you knew what's coming. I'll be opening this door later. So here, I'll just like you to take a moment and appreciate the lighting in this game. Now, in today's standards, this is <laughs> this is nothing. But back then, when this game first came out, this lighting was was everything. I remember seeing articles online about people talking about how their graphic card is gonna run this. If your graphic card can run this, should you buy go out and buy another uh, another graphic card? Um, and it was because the graphics were groundbreaking back then uh, and also the sound de uh, sound design if you listen to the creaking and stuff but yeah let's let's continue with the game just really like this game oh haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time welcome to the dungeon brother enjoy your stay thank you brother you sure are curious aren't you yeah this is what I do all day you sure are curious aren't you mm. Hey, don't touch that. Hmm. Okay. These barrels, if you shoot them, they blow up and they will probably cause me to die a lot because I would have this tendency to stand next to them and then an imp will throw a fireball, it will blow this can or oh, this drum up and then I'll, I'll die. Just gonna try and avoid that from happening. Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, uh, never mind. You can't just say that and then stop. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. I shouldn't talk about it. This is armor. Um, it will. If you look at the bottom left, you see the armor there. Uh, the rating is 60, so yeah, take less damage. But it depletes as you take damage. And I think this guy is supposed to be the first jump scare because he's hiding here in the corner and then it's like, hey! Oh, yeah. Anyway, look at that lighting. Listen, Scotty, I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm <laughs> getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kinda busy here. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time, but I gotta keep my eye on this. You keep on keeping your eye there. Another locker and a PDA. Hmm, is the game trying to teach me something? Let's see. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. 
But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Okay. Please update the security cabinet code in the energy stabilization unit to 531, and that's what I want. Five. Three, one. So, shotgun ammo, some armor, and a health kit. We're gonna need that in a moment. This is just basically the developers showing off their their uh, <laughs> the new graphics engine. Um, I mean, there's actually no reason for this to be spinning or. Explain some of the things that have been happening to the systems. It's weird. Just get it done. Just get it done. Famous last words. Hmm. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> I love doing do that. you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Yes, I do. Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. How do you know I need to go to the garage? The equipment seems to be affected by something unseen. The equipment seems to be affected by something unseen. Oh. This is gonna happen a lot. I mean, just look at how dark this game is. You you, you can't see anything. Love it. Uh, if you look at the left there, uh, you can see my torch is actually running out. So I need to switch it off to recharge it. So, yeah. Darkness will become your friend. Center, right? Yes, I am. Better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Eh, hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Well, what the hell are you waiting for, Marine? Okay. Going. This is Mars, outside. Okay. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Roger that. Out. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Open the door. Uh, the character moves a l a l uh, fast, basically. I just need to get used to it. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, I don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God! I can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Help us! Huh? No! 
Hmm. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy. All units to Marine HQ to regroup. Fall it back. Just picking up some ammo. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Amazing how the entire base just fell so quickly. Just gonna skip that for now. Squad leaders give shit. It's very seldom that you fight um, things outside. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Land. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub-level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. It's amazing how the... The engineer can kill the the guard. I mean, he's the one. Well, okay, I kind of did take his gun at this here earlier. So. <laughs> Oops. Door number one. Always watch out for doors. There's so many monster closets in this game. Uh, this guy doesn't have a jaw. Okay. Okay. Press button. Warning. This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. Thank you. That sound is an imp, and I believe that's going to be the first demon we're going to face in the game. Um, help! Help! Please, help! 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 Like it's stalking you. So there's your limb, your first limb, and then here is your first shotgun, and this is gonna be your best friend. There you go. The problem with the shotgun is uh, it's it's very slow and it takes long to reload. But uh, close range, uh, at close range, it's deadly.
see monster shots it. Um, this is the health thingy I was talking about. It's a hundred, so uh, when I refill my health, it will just uh, reduce from this number. Um, you try to keep them. Uh, well, actually, in my experience, you can use these quite. Uh, every time you see them, you can just use them. You don't need to save them because you do some backtracking later on, but not that much. So if you skip them, then you miss them out. And that is an imp. They are probably the most common enemy type that we're gonna face and we're gonna kill hundreds of them. People are really <laughs> are really getting teared teared up on the radio. The trick to these uh, enemies are to strafe as soon as they throw their fireball or plasma ball, whatever you want to call it. It does do some splash damage, so you're going to have to be uh, careful for that. I still find these zombies creepy. Uh, I told you we're going to use that earlier, later. That happened. Shame. Looks painful. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean SOBs. You don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, Help you. establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to help you. The game is full of these jump scares. It's not scary, it's just jumpy, if that makes sense. Ha! Done. Whoa! Okay. Shouldn't have messed with that thing earlier. This is Bravo Team. We've got one man down and several wounded. We are incoming and need medical on station staff. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. The monorail track is destroyed. Unable to secure safe transportation back to base. Okay. Over. Pistol is that ineffective. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Oh, that was the guy that kept interrupting me. Ha! Huh. Tried to interrupt me now. Okay, so I think I unlocked that elevator by clicking on that. What type of soda is that? Uh, I don't know. Favor. Good. Um, that's it. I remember playing this game when I was younger and I literally couldn't play for longer than 15 minutes. I had to... I, I, F5 was my best friend because that's quicksave and then 
I would literally put the game off and take a break. Just go drink coffee, just go chill out uh, before I can continue. Now, I, I always wanted to continue that. Uh, that I don't know, it's just something that's kept pushing me to keep playing the game, even though it scared the shit out of me. But um, yeah, uh, it did scare me a lot and I ended up uh, taking frequent breaks and I must have saved more than a couple thousand times. Like literally I would I'll go through that door and then save and then go through the next door and save. Um, but as the years went on, um, I've pretty much played every single horror game that's out there except for some of the PC stuff and um, I'm pretty much numb to the all units <laughs> to the horror Sergeant games Kelly. these days. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. No. Hey, Mars City. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Hmm. Reduced to a skeleton. I must say, this gun is satisfying. I love the sound of it. Uh, actually, I think it's more nostalgic than anything, but I just love the sound of the guns in this game. Especially the plasma rifle. You guys will see what I mean later. Hey, you! Up here! Quickly! A survivor? Wait, survivor, I need to check if I found everything here. Yep, I think I did. Okay. Let's go up. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Dude. Take my pistol or pick up that wrench and come with me. Hurry back with some help. I don't want to stay up here. You are going to die up there. Or up here. I don't know what's in there. What's in here? So there's something in here. Oh, that's a messy. I'd like to corner you. Oh, this is this is quite vicious. Um, should probably blur this out. Now, nah, what am I saying? You guys knew exactly what you were signing up for when you clicked on this video. The flesh, it calls for us. Mm, apologize for that one. <laughs> but that was bad. I hear you. I hear you. Shotgun is un ineffective at long ranges. Still hear something. Ooh. Oh! I love this gun. I love this gun so much. I love all the guns. Fun times. ACO key card. Okay. Okay. Command HQ. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all specialist dead. Specialist. I'm running Wilson. blind here. What are my orders? Over. 
Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. Okay, so the keycard should uh, open this door. Oh. Please, little buddies. Go, little buddy. <laughs> so satisfying. Um, if I remember right, you never fight against those things. They are always your allies. So, they are freaking amazing. But you have to take care of them. Um, there's uh, certain stages during the game where um, they follow you or they lead you through an area. And if you don't take care of them, they can actually get um, destroyed. So... What? Shot you in the face, brother. <sighs> Those demon powers keeping you alive. Okay. Okay. Um, that character or that, um, particular zombie you don't get a lot of them during the game they're kind of like a special exception burning zombie uh, I, there's a couple of them during the game but they're not common uh, they're a bit tougher to kill and uh, obviously they are on fire which makes them terrifying and they have this funny limp run which makes them faster than normal zombies as well I hear you Six. Oh my word. That is one big zombie. Could have played that a bit better. At least I saw the zombie. He had a wrench. And his guts were spilling out of his stomach. That's always fun. Okay. Hmm, this is like a lab. I remember this place. Yes, I do. Something's going to happen. Uh, I have a PDA. Let's see if I have another secure code for that locker. Uh, let's see if Frank has anything for me. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th. I just want to hear if uh, they don't give us the code. The current the operational audio. status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. It's more than just rumors. I gotta rumors. tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Brother, if you only knew, <laughs> hell is already loose. Okay, uh, I picked up a PDA on the table, almost Audio log for Dr. Casian, currently stationed at Mars City. He mm, sounds so... I have just left the weekly status meeting here in Medicare. Tired. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. 
The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Okay, Doctor, so there's a lot of um, bad things happening to the people here and he's starting to worry about it. I don't think the code for this locker is uh, is here. Let's continue. So, I have no idea what that is, but yeah, Doctor. Okay, I'm just looking for any PDAs. Nothing here. Oh, I've got a clip. I don't remember s so many of these guys being around. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Wonder what could have done this. Marine comms center objects of compliance. Uh, I want to get in here. Damn it. There is a lot of guns there. Okay, probably get the code later, hopefully. Yes, 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 let me reach. Let me. Right, right there. Let's just, just reach. Press X to reach. Uh. Just want to make sure I'm exploring this area. Oh, I can't continue. Okay. Um. Connection established. Ow. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable yes, I to am. return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Just give me unlimited security access since you can remotely uh, update it. Alpha Labs. Uh, damn, what happened to these guys? Hm. Uh, probably gonna have to come back here. Okay, this was closed earlier. Um, this guy came running from here, so I just want to see if something else didn't unlock. Miss. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can make it. Yes, 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 yes. This is where I wanted to be. Okay, so this is the locker. Let's quickly have a look here. 
Uh, emails. Da -da -da. Five eight four. Five eight. It is the wrong locker. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to cut the video over here. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, stick around for episode 2. That's going to come out uh, not uh, too long from now. So, yeah. Uh, have a good one. Cheers.